Our next contestant decided to enter this contest with Go Big or Go Home, and that is our good old friend Paul Anselmos, who actually gave me the idea for this year's Build a Monster contest for the Mad Scientist category. So without further ado, let's check out Paul's models right away. Paul's first entry is in M-O-N-M-H-1, and this is Dr. Deadly's daughter, a.k.a. The Victim. It's an Aurora kit made in 1 13th scale. Paul says, Using all Aurora parts, I kept her arms movable, as the kid intended, gluing, puttying, and painting around them. I painted her shorts to resemble Daisy Dukes. Paul's next model is entered in M-O-N-M-H-2, Concepts and one of a kinds. This is Baragon, a Bilkin kit with no particular scale. And Paul says, In the movie Frankenstein Conquers the World, Baragon's horn is illuminated with a pulsing light. So I replaced the kit's vinyl horn with one of resin and attached a pulsating LED to it. Paul's next model is entered in M-O-N-M-H-1, Out of the Box. This is the Godzilla maquette from Ultra Ya Hobby, again in no particular scale. Paul says this model was inspired by a Japanese movie poster depicting the Godzilla prototype carrying a woman. Paul's next entry is called Godzilla Dream, and this is entered in M-O-N-M-H-2, Concepts and One of a Kinds. This is a Billiken Polar Lights non-scale model. Paul says the idea of just positioning a Godzilla model, in this case the 1954 Godzilla model from 1993, with a miniature scratch-built mushroom cloud came to me in a dream. I added some buildings from the Polar Lights reissue of the Aurora Godzilla to the Sea of Smoke. This is not a diorama as it doesn't capture a moment in time, but rather illustrates a concept, Godzilla as a metaphor for the bomb. Paul's final entry is quite a great wacky one. This is entered in M-O-N-M-H-4, Monster Figure Diorama, and this is Godzilla vs. Kong. Paul says, I improved my Godzilla go-kart by glossing the helmet, painting skin highlights, repainting the parachute pack, and placing the steering wheel under the paws instead of in front of them. This I added to a new King Kong Thronester and a scratch-built racetrack diorama base. It sure is nice to see Paul's collection of gigantic movie monsters. And if you want to check out our next contestant, our final contestant in the show for 2023, click this video right here.